you're looking at what's called archaeology, the first art exhibit in an active archaeological site. In Jerusalem, sometimes the best stories are found underground. Here, next to the ancient stones of the Temple Mount, an art exhibit links the past with the present. I had this idea of putting my pieces in uh, like a cave, something that would connect it to ancient archaeology and to the past because it's the works that I make are inspired all from ancient history, ancient Egyptian, ancient Etruscan, ancient Israelite. Artist Nicole kornberg Jacobovici says most of her work relates to the middle to late Bronze Age, looking back some 3,000 years. Dr. Yuval Baruch had um, an, an idea, an amazing idea, to place the pieces, the art pieces that he had seen in the site that where he's working, which is an old water cistern dating from the time of the first temple. Dr. Yuval Baruch of the Israel Antiquities Authority says the organization is excavating here very close to the Western Wall Foundations. And one of the questions that I ask myself, and when I say ask myself daily, is how to build the bridge between the people and the ruins. Baruch says when he saw Nicole's art, it sparked an idea of going beyond guided tours and museums to connect people to archaeology. I understand that art is also another language that can uh, allow us to build this bridge. And the fact that her art is ceramic is even more significant. When we excavated, what the most things we found is the shirt. And the shirt for us is like a letters. From the, these letters, we can understand the period, understand the date, we can understand for what this place used, if it is a dwelling house or maybe a palace. Archaeologist and art historian Irid Ziffer says the clay connection goes back even further. Oh, material is clay, you know, it's mud from the earth. And this is what man was made of. You know, the first man, the first Adam was made out of clay. It was a figurine into which God breathed life. Ziffer is curator of the exhibit. Really was amazed by is Nicole's versatile ways in dealing with clay. Well, she's a takeoff on the ancient things, but she doesn't do ancient things. She does contemporary art. Some of Nicole's artwork includes a piece with fish inspired by the story of Jonah. So the blue one is a reference to the Nile, ancient Nile, the place where Moses was found, and then the story preceding the story of the exodus of the Jewish people from Egypt. The blue plate is a reference to the Tree of Life, with, it's got birds and flowers. It's imagining what it would have looked like. And a special stamp like ancient leaders would have used to stamp their names and tell their stories. This one rolls out the story of Joseph's dreams. While this current exhibit is temporary, there are plans for a traveling exhibit to help connect the Bible to modern times through art around the world. Julie Stahl, CBN News, near the Western Wall Foundations, Jerusalem.